All right, so Lazi been asking how we're doing with our high speed load and if it's still going. And the answer is yeah, so I'm going to give you an update today. I got a 150 amp multi phase intercell eval board here set up at 1.2 volts, so it can do up to 150 amps. You can see I got one of our one port probes here that's looking at a decoupling cap, so that's our voltage monitor. Uh, there's the P2100 probe. And at the other end of the probe, we're looking at that with the Tektronics TPR4000 uh, power rail probe. Lots of bandwidth, high signal noise ratio, low noise, and really fast. And, of course, it puts the DC voltage on the screen. So there you can see we're running at uh, just under 1.2 volts. I got a harmonic comb generator. That's one of our standard uh, J2150 signal generators. And it's connected through a PDN cable. That's our, our coax. Uh, it's just a two-wire coax. And at the other end, there is a single cell of our high-speed load. So it's a scalable solution that's going to scale all the way from 2 amps up to about 2,000 uh, using many parallel cells, and this is one of them. This particular incarnation is in a 5-millimeter diameter probe with a mini SMP connector and some pogo pins. Uh, we also have some uh, that are in a 1206 chip cap. Anyway, all I need to do is to go ahead and probe one of the decoupling caps. And there you go. There's the signal generator. And let me see if I can get that up on the screen for you with one hand. I don't know if I can do that, but let's try. Oh, let's try that again. Hang on. Boom, 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 boom. And there you go. There is... Uh, the transient, and that is dithering between 1% and 2% duty cycle, and that's the reason you're seeing two different responses. And there again, there's the DC voltage on the screen. So we are currently doing a 20-amp uh, load step in a 5-millimeter diameter probe. How fast is it? Well, the actual speed of the probe itself, uh, we measured at about 500 picoseconds. And, of course, the actual interconnect is going to depend on how uh, good we can make the inductance between the the uh, high-speed load and the board. But ultimately, we are aiming to get a solution that's scalable from 2 amps to 2,000 amps. And uh, they'll all be sub-nanosecond. And it'll be in different incarnations from, uh, you know, uh, socket adapters for 100-millimeter devices, uh, browser probes, and even uh, replacements for 1206 decoupling caps. Anyway, that's how we're doing. Yes, we're still at it, and we hope to have it out to you soon. Thanks.